welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. Okay, so the first card is about versatility. So there seems to be some kind of options available to you and you seem to be weighing the pros and cons. Maybe there's new projects that you have to do and you're deciding which one to do or which one to focus on the most. Or maybe, maybe there are some um, new job opportunities coming your way and you're deciding which one to do so whatever it is you're choosing you hoping that it opens up the doorway over there uh, for success for you so uh, there's something that you want to do that you really really love so this is the affinity card and this is about uh, you know really being drawn to some particular pr profession or particular field or maybe the choice that you're trying to make is something that you want to do that you enjoy uh, so something that you love coming in over there so that's where that choice is coming in now you've got uh, the alliance card there so there's somebody around you that's going to give you some help uh, maybe somebody has put you in contact with uh, uh, you know a new job or has um, given you the heads up about uh, a new project coming in uh, but there's definitely some kind of partnership that you're forming some kind of alliance business partnership coming in over there maybe this is the choice that you're trying to make about whether or not to accept this partnership or whether or not to accept information that this person is giving you there uh, but whatever they're telling you whatever information is coming uh, because it's their affinity card it is something that you really will enjoy or something that uh, you know will inspire you now, in the past, you've got uh, the indecision card over there. So there again, being faced with this choice. So it seems like you know you've had uh, th these options available for you uh, to you for a little while now, and you're still stuck and still trying to decide where you should be focused on and what you want to do. So you really are at a dilemma at the moment. So you're going through all the facts and you're weighing up all the options over there. You've got this person sitting over there trying to make a decision uh, and you're looking at everything uh, very, you know, you're going through it, uh, the information with a fine tooth comb, uh, trying to uh, decide what to do. So you're taking this decision pretty seriously and it looks like it might be a very life-changing decision for you. Now, going into the future, you've got that disorientation. So you're not quite sure what to do. You can see this person's got his, uh, you know, part of his body facing uh, the past and his head's looking forward. So you're making plans for the future. Uh, you're trying to think out, outside the box. You know, whatever you, you want to do is going to require a lot of mental energy. You've got that monkey on the top over there. But you're still quite unsure about what you want to do. Now, uh, there might be some kind of legal issue you might, may be dealing with as well here with this justice card over here. So there's some kind of uh, decision uh, that is pending. Maybe this is the thing that is holding you back from making this big decision about moving forward. Uh, so there might be some legal um, uh, um, outcome uh, and you're waiting for that uh, decision to be made before you make it. Now, you've got Saturn there in... Um, uh, Capricorn so it is something that affects your career and it affects your progress as well and it affects how you're going to focus uh, and where you will focus your attention on for the future there uh, so you are uh, you know waiting for that decision before you make uh, big changes and maybe this is the reason why like I said that you're very very disorientated you're not quite sure what to do right now so those are the energies for those two weeks So I'm going to be drawing cards from the Book of Shadows Tarot for the main read. So at the bottom of the deck, you've got the Four of Swords. So it looks like, uh, you know, you've been through a lot of difficulties. And it seems like, you know, you're trying to take a little bit of a break, come up with a new strategy and decide what you want to do next. So with the Four of Swords, you could also be dealing with a lot of legal problems. You might be seeking some legal counsel as well with that Four of Swords. So taking a step back and trying to come up with a new plan, but also seeking some legal advice as well, or seeking some kind of, of you know, um, maybe official advice or there's some kind of a uh, legal issue that you are dealing with at the moment and you are trying to um, you know get a different perspective uh, from it you could be even taking a break from your work or taking a little bit of a holiday 
with that four of swords uh, after going through a very, very stressful situation. Uh, you know, you may have uh, left an old job with this particular card uh, because it follows the Three of Swords. So the Three of Swords is about a breakup. Uh, so you may have left an old job and you are now moving, uh, want to move to, to do something else. So that's why you're taking a little bit of a break from it uh, so that you can come up with a new plan about what you want to do for the future. And it looks like you are a very, very indecisive. Uh, you are weighing all your options up. So this could be about, uh, you know, just waiting for things to happen, uh, waiting for this decision or whatever it is. If it is a legal decision, you are waiting for the outcome for that before you make a decision. But this could also be trying to find uh, a different uh, path in life and, and you know, um, trying to make a decision about what offer to accept. And this is about looking at both uh, you know, aspects, weighing up those options. There's something that is missing. There's some kind of key information that you need to go and research and find out about. Uh, maybe even a, a communication that is missing that you need to go and, you know, get in touch with people as well. It looks like you might also need to get some advice uh, with regards to this particular decision. Now, the decision that you make needs to be based on logic and not on, uh, you know, emotion. So you need to turn your back on your emotions in this particular card and make it from a very logical point of view. So if you've got the pros and cons uh, in your hand, you need to look at them from a very, um, you know, um, dis a distance. Uh, you need to distance yourself from the outcome and make that decision based on uh, which particular option is going to be better for you. You could have been also dealing with a conflict with this particular card and maybe, uh, you know, you're waiting for some kind of resolution of that conflict. Now, you've got that Empress card over here, and you've got this little boy with, uh, you know, his uh, knees have been scraped. So you have been going through some difficulties. Uh, you know, you might be having to deal with your family life as well as your work life as well. Uh, but whatever it is, you're, you're managing to get control of that situation with that Empress card. And the Empress card is about, uh, you know, whatever you're doing, uh, whatever new ideas you have, whatever projects you're doing, is going to be successful and is going to be able to generate finances or abundance for you. People are turning to you for, you know, they turn to you for guidance and assistance. You might be in some kind of caring profession as well. Uh, but whatever it is that you're doing uh, will generate finances because the em Empress is all about abundance. And it's also being on the top of her game. So she's very much in a leadership position and very much in control of a lot of things as well. Uh, and uh, she's very successful because she is ruled by Venus. Now, what's happened to the past? You've got the Seven of Swords over here. So you have been dealing probably with some legal issues over there. Uh, you may have needed to do some research, find out the truth. There might have been some deception, uh, you know, with regards to uh, this previous uh, job that you've been doing. Uh, but there's also a search for truth with this particular card and also looking at cold hard facts and going through it. Uh, this is about getting that legal advice and doing a lot of research, and maybe that's what you've been doing recently. You've got the Knave of Wands over here, so you're very focused on whatever project you're doing. It might have been a new project that you started, and you're putting all your efforts and energies into it. There's also been uh, you know, a lot of collaboration, a lot of networking going on, but you're very focused on what you're doing. You may have also been doing a lot of travel with this particular Knave of card, uh, Wands card. So you're hoping for a new opportunity to come in. This is on your mind. You want to start something fresh. Uh, maybe you want to, whatever's been going on over here has been very, very upsetting. Uh, it certainly has been uh, a lot of problems that you have been facing over there with that nine of wands immediately below it. So you're hoping for some kind of new opportunity to come in over here. And that's what you're working towards. You might even be thinking of doing further study as well with that ace of cups. So going into the future, you've got that King of Wands. So you are, this is your card, and you are going to be in some kind of leadership position. So whatever drama has been going on around you, you are arising above it, you know, like a phoenix almost arising from that fire. So you are overcoming any kind of obstacles, any kind of problems. And you've got a lot of people that are um, very, very... Uh, uh, you know, impressed by whatever you have been doing. So you are going to be taking on some kind of leadership role and it's going to be, maybe it's going to be something where you're in the spotlight as well. So you are either, uh, you know, giving information or you're publicly speaking. There's some kind of uh, role where it's, uh, you know, very much a leadership, a very dynamic role uh, and it attracts a lot of people towards you. So uh, it's, it's uh, something where um, a lot of people are, are taking uh, a lot of note um, of your uh, abilities, and they are in great admiration of you there. 
So what's happening with you? It looks like there's an end of a situation. So it looks like you're leaving an old job or an old situation because you're leaving old, you know, people that you may have worked with for a long time with that Ten of Cups. And this is the end of difficult emotional ties uh, that you've had with these people. So uh, that situation is now coming to an end. Uh, you're closing down that particular part of your life and you're moving on to something else. So a new cycle will come because you've got the Ten of Cups over there that's ending that cycle and now you want to start something brand new here. So whatever old associations you had, you are finishing off with that and you are ready to move on. Uh, you've got the five of wands over here. So you were dealing with a lot of difficult people. There's a lot of competition. You were working very hard, working to a lot of deadlines over here. You can see doing a lot of research, maybe working by yourself, but having to defend yourself a lot of the time. And maybe people ganged up against you as well in this particular job. So, you know, you've had to come out fighting from this particular job. But it has made you pretty strong. Now, what you want is you want the money to come in. You want a job of leadership, and you want, uh, you know, you maybe you want some a payoff as well with the King of Pentacles. But you're definitely working towards uh, financial security and stability there with that card. Now, going into the future, you've got the Moon, uh, the Three of Cups, and you've got uh, the Wheel of Fortune. So. The moon is talking about hidden information. Uh, you know, things need to come to light. There's been lots of lies. There's been a bit of deception going on over there. Uh, and, you know, this is... And you're also feeling a bit depressed, a bit lonely, uh, maybe not even sleeping well at night. Uh, so there's a lot of anxiety as well that is associated with this particular card. And you've got the Three of Cups. So it looks like things are going to just turn around for you. The Wheel of Fortune bringing in that uh, Three of Cups um, over there. So the celebration coming in over there. Uh, maybe even getting together with friends or getting together with old business acquaintances. Uh, but definitely a celebration coming in over there. And the Wheel of Fortune turning for you, taking you out of that feeling of luck and into the feeling of abundance and making you begin something brand new that will bring in a lot of abundance. So this is a very, very positive card. You've ended old cycles. It's number 10. Um, and you are going to be starting off something brand new that brings in a lot of abundance and a lot of wealth for you and puts you uh, squarely in the spotlight over there uh, with a lot of people admiring all your efforts. So you do need to take that little bit of a break uh, you know, and come up with a new strategy on how to deal with things uh, in order for you to, to succeed. With that Empress card, it is de definitely talking about being successful in whatever it is you choose you want to do. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the Fairy Tarot, and this is for the Oracle Read. So you've got the um, Prince of Spring, and this is definitely moving on. Uh, so immediate action, a challenge that you can successfully manage. Um, so this is definitely moving on. Maybe you'll be traveling to do this work or changing jobs, changing country, uh, and maybe even collaborating with a lot of people on a very global scale with that Prince of Spring. There's a lot of... Um, energy there and if uh, you have to make a decision it's going to have to be made fast but make sure you're thinking about it uh, thinking through things very carefully whatever challenges you have to face you will be able to be uh, successfully overcome these challenges you've got the prince of winter over there so seek out an intellectual uh, solution for your problem a need to act quickly and decisively sudden and expected unexpected changes so both these cards are talking about uh, you know whatever is coming in for you you need to make decisions very very quickly you have to be on your toes and you must be clear-minded when you're making these deci the decisions with that Prince of Winter it's about uh, being very logical and uh, not uh, uh, emotional so whatever this moon card whatever emotional problems or uh, emotional uh, uh, traumas that you're going through at the moment, you need to set them aside uh, when you're making that particular decision with that Prince of Winter. So uh, there's intellectual solutions to whatever problems are, and you need to act very quickly in order to resolve any challenges that come your way. And the final card is the star, which is look to the future with hope and optimism, the power of faith to move mountains, happy changes that bring relief from challenging times. Um, so, you know, it looks like things are going to have a positive outcome there. It looks like those difficult situations are now over and you are moving into something that's going to be uh, very, very uh, successful for you. The star card is also about being guided divinely into doing something. So whatever this challenge is that you're going to be facing, you will find a positive solution to it. Uh, you need to act quickly and, like I said, keep your mind clear. Be very, very logical about the whole thing uh, and you will be able to be very successful.
hustle because you've got that king of wands which is the card of success and it is your card and so that's coming in for you so you're leaving behind difficult circumstances and you're moving forward with victory there um, so um, I hope that this reading has resonated with you and uh, please don't forget to like share subscribe and leave me some comments if it has and thank you so much for watching take care now goodbye